What's up everyone? So you got yourself an R610, R710, R510, whatever, and you've got the iDRAC Enterprise system in it. But every time you try to go and access that virtual uh, console, it fails on you. Well, we're going to fix that today on Lower Res DIY. All right, so you log in to iDRAC, and over here on the right, you have your, your virtual console. Click on launch, it downloads this file. Okay, what's that? Click on it, and it wants you to download something to run it, but there's no option for it. So the first thing we will need to do is go to your Google Chrome store and download the iDRAC.jnlp file. So let's just click on the add, add to Chrome, add extension, and it'll install it. Step one, done. Next thing you're going to need to do is download Java 8. Now, I'll have links and, and instructions in the, in the description of this video, so there's no need to, to try to zoom in and see the, the, the links or what we're typing in. So let's just agree and start the download. Once it's finished, let's go ahead and open it. Yes, we want to install it and install. Once it's complete, you can go ahead and close that. And then we want to scroll down to Java and we want to go into the configure Java. It'll bring another window up for us. And up here, we're going to go to security. And down at the bottom, uh, exception site list, mine's already added in, but you'll hit edit site list, enter and add your IP address for your iDRAC. And then hit okay, okay, good to go. We're almost done. So let's open up a file explorer window. All right, we're gonna want to navigate to the programs file down to Java, JRE 1.8.0. Then we want to go to lib and down here at the bottom security. Now, right here, Java security, we're going to need to edit this file. So double click on it and open it up in whichever program you prefer to use. And we're going to scroll down to about 722, I think is where it is. This line right here, jdk.tls.disable. We want to comment these three lines out. So to do that, all we need to do is add the pound symbol, give it a space, pound symbol, not nat, pound symbol, space, and pound symbol space. Then we want to save that file. Yes, we want to override it. Yes. Oh, no, it just didn't update, I guess. Oh, well, so we saved that file. Let's just do it again to make sure. File has been saved. Now let's try opening up that virtual console again. It's going to bring up the same file, but this time you're going to see it's going to have a, a whole different little description here. You click on keep. Give it a second, click on the file again, and it's gonna open up another window. We're gonna continue. It's gonna uh, access your, your iDRAC, and it's gonna warn you here about the non-secure non website, all that. Just click it, I accept the risk, and run. After a few seconds, the virtual console starts up. So let's just prove that it's actually that. Let's go ahead and power the system on. I don't know if you can hear it back there, but the fans are kicking on and everything. And like it with everything with these servers, it just takes a little while. Be patient. And there you go. Your virtual console is now working. All right, a couple quick little steps there, and hopefully we got everything up and running for you. If uh, this video helped you out at all, do me a favor, hit that like and that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching.